did you guys ever think we would get to the day when our cell phone can be our entire computer? Well, let me show you how you can make this a reality. You'll only need a few things. A Samsung that is new enough that it has Samsung DeX built into it. For this demonstration, I'll be using a Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, which is the fan edition. And the other thing that you'll need is a USB-C dock. Now with that dock, I have connected uh, an external keyboard and an external mouse, as well as a 27 inch monitor. Now with that monitor, I have a USB hub that connects to the keyboard as well as the mouse that I have right there. So that all I need to do is plug in the USB-C to my phone and it becomes a computer. So let's show you how we make that happen. First, you wanna make sure that Samsung DeX is enabled. So you'll scroll down from the top of your screen and you see DeX is right there. So your phone is compatible with Samsung DeX. Let me show you how it looks when you first launch it. So all you have to do is you take your USB-C dock and you plug it into your USB-C phone. And you see how DeX turned blue and it says connected to external display means that DeX has been launched on the screen behind you. So you can turn your phone off, you can utilize it uh, just as you would normally, or what I do is I typically set it on top of the dock. So now that we have the phone connected to the USB-C dock and the USB-C dock has various items plugged into it, such as this 27 inch monitor that is connected via DisplayPort to this dock, as well as a couple of USB items like the USB webcam I have up here, the USB keyboard that's plugged into it, as well as a USB wireless mouse. And again, that's all connected to the USB-C dock, which is connected to the phone. So it just requires that one cable to plug in all of those devices. You can alternatively plug in a flash drive if you would like to use um, more like you would with a desktop and you know manage all of your files like you would on a normal desktop. You can utilize uh, the My Files, which is the file manager, which I can show you in just a couple of moments. Or you can just stick to simple tasks like a web browser or doing some word processing using Word or Google Docs. You can use Excel or you can use Google Sheets. So anything you would, anything light tasked that you would do on a desktop, you can do utilizing Samsung DeX. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. In the bottom right hand corner, you can see a clock and uh, various quick settings. So this right here brings up the quick settings, which is mirroring what you have on your phone on your quick settings. If you pull down twice, that mirrors exactly what is displayed right here for quick settings. And if you look again, you can see that it has a Wi-Fi connection, it's seeing your cellular as well as your battery. So it's showing everything that you're used to seeing on this top right hand corner of your display. And I find that to be particularly useful if you are connected in more of a rural area and you only have cellular connection because you don't have um, DSL or cable or fiber. So you can utilize uh, Samsung DeX if you're trying to get a desktop experience and you're in a rural area where, again, you only have that cellular connection. So you can use this solely based on mobile data, which I find to be pretty nice. This two next to it is your notifications that are displaying in your notification panel. So if you are getting texts or whatnot, you can open them up, up on here and you can respond to them, which I will show you as well as taking a quick screenshot, changing uh, the volume settings. If you're trying to listen to media, you can change the volume quickly there, or you can expand it to open all of your audio settings like you would on your phone normally. So 
you can turn it up uh, your system volume, your notification volume, your ringtone, or just, again, mess with the media sound so that you can watch a YouTube video or watch Netflix, whatever you're trying to do, and listen to that audio, you can turn that up. And if you have speakers plugged into your dock or a Bluetooth speaker, it'll play in there. Otherwise, it'll use the phone's internal speaker. And then this will be a tray that displays just like you're used to on Windows, showing your open applications, which I can show you. Or this is your more Android style home button, back button, and recent apps, as well as your apps in Docker. So you can open all of the applications that you're used to seeing on your phone, like Google Maps, um, opening Office, or uh, scrolling through Reddit on the Reddit app, you can use that, or you can utilize it through the web browser like you would on a typical desktop. So we'll go ahead and let's open the web browser, and you can see that it looks just like you're used to on a full browser on a desktop, or you can open my files to uh, scroll through files on your internal storage, if you want to connect to your external storage via USB, this is where you would go to manage those files. And another feature is it mirrors Windows in that you can resize your applications. You can drag them around, put it in the foreground, or it'll automatically switch to the background when you switch to a more active application. Or you can snap it to the corner to bring it up in a larger view. And as you can see, it does show you the windows that you have open or the applications that you have open. So you can see that we have My File Browser open as well as Chrome. And you can see that in the bottom in the center of your app dock. So you can see that these are the two applications that are open right now. So like I said, you can use Google Docs, Sheets, and everything that you're used to using. Um, on a desktop. It's just running that desktop off of your phone, which is super handy to have with you everywhere. So let's go ahead and navigate to a website just like you would on a desktop. So we will type in amazon.com. And as you see, we are now on amazon.com. But you can see that there is a lot of scrolling and not everything is super clear because it's utilizing the mobile site. So let's go ahead and maximize the window so now we see it in more of a desktop state. We'll click the right three dots in the upper right and we'll request to see the desktop version of the site. So now you see that it is much clearer and that's because it is using the full desktop version of it and not the compressed mobile app version. So let's go ahead and do some scrolling and you see there's definitely more um, interaction because it is running the desktop site and there's more information displayed on the screen because again, you're not using mobile where it's typically a smaller display that requires scrolling up and down. And this is more of a site that you are used to seeing. You can open multiple tabs and I found no issues with it. Uh, no slowdown issues or really any issues that I'm aware of. I have had no issues opening four applications, having a Word document open, having a YouTube browser open, listening to music at the same time as I'm editing. If I'm, for instance, writing a paper or editing photos at the same time as I'm uh, listening to music. And if you get a call or a text or anything, you can interact with it by tapping it in the notifications just like you would. Or say it's a text, you can just go to your apps in the bottom left, go to your text, texting application, so you can see these SMSs. You can open it to view your plans, uh, your texts, and you can just respond to them using the keyboard. Or you can open the application on your phone, just like you typically would. And as you can see, it 
took it away from that screen because it's now an active application on the phone, and you can respond to it like you would normally. All right, well, that is a quick view at Samsung DeX and the possibilities you have. All right, thank you for watching.